Hey everyone, let's take a look at how to work with images in Nux.js. So I already have an application up and running. It's very basic and literally just has the logo and the text. And I've also just added an image, except this image doesn't exist. So let's add an image that actually exists. So we can use um, the images from our static folder. And I've already got an image in here, as you can see, Mont Blanc, beautiful, I wanna go there. So let's add this instead. So we'll just literally um, remove image and put Mont Blanc. And if we save that, we should get our image. There we go, Da da. easy, right? So when we're adding images from the static folder, it just doesn't need anything before it, it just works. And if you were to put this in a folder, for example, let's call it IMG. And if we move that into IMG, so yes, I wanna move. And then obviously that's not gonna work now. Let me just refresh and show you because I can't find that image, right? So once we put in the folder where it, where it is living, there we go, and our image is back, okay? So when we're working with the static folder, it just goes straight into here. So we just need to put it, if it's in a folder, IMG, then slash, or if it's direct at static, then just directly using the name of the image. Okay, pretty easy. But what if you wanna use a Webpack to, to um, work with your images? So Webpack ignores the static folder, but assets are passed through Webpack. So we normally put our assets, our images into the assets folder. And you can put them in here. I can, you can see I've already got a Mont Blanc in here. So it's the same image. So in order to reference the assets folder, I'm gonna have to use assets slash Mont Blanc. Now, if I look at that, that would make sense, right? If I go here, I've got no image. That's because it doesn't know where the assets folder is in the directory. So you have to kind of tell it by saying that the assets folder is at the root level. And we can use this, um, tilde to basically say, go to the root level and then find the assets folder and then find the image Mont Blanc. And if you had a, an image folder, you put image, then Mont Blanc. So yeah, this is really important when you're working with assets to add this in here. And now I have my image again. So that's pretty cool. And that's the main difference that we need to use this when using the assets folder. And if it's static, then uh, we can just use the root level. Okay, so Let's just go back and put the static, the assets one. There we go, perfect. So we're gonna work with the assets folder for the rest of the of this video. So we can also add a background image. You can see I've added the class of the background image and I've just in here, I've got my background image. So I'm gonna put background URL and I put in my image. So let me just copy this exactly as it is, right? So I want to use the same one, the one that's in the assets folder. I'm gonna copy it in and I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna go here and oh my God, I've got all this wow, error, can't resolve, dot, dot, slash, dot, dot, slash, dot, dot, slash, dot, dot, slash. What do I do? Okay, so this is basically because Webpack can't deal with this slash. It's now all confused. It's kind of going, what are you trying to tell me here? So you need to actually just remove that slash. And now, it's gonna find that image. Okay, you can see that's the background image. It's really ugly, I'm sorry, but yeah, it's, it's, um, it's, yeah, it's not accessible, this text. But anyway, that's how it works, right? So what's the difference here? You can see here, we had to put a slash when we're working with assets in the images, but when we're working with background images, um, do not put the slash. That's basically how that works. So just kind of keep that in mind. Okay, cool. One more thing left, dynamic images. So. I have a data property here with a, an array of images. I've only got two, but I could have 10 or 20 or whatever. So I'm gonna use a V4 in order to loop over that array. Um, let me put image with an index in images. And then I'll just put my key equals index. You could write a better one, but for now that will do. And now I basically have my source. So I wanna make this dynamic, let's find it. And I want to have some dynamic. So let's just use these, there we go. So now I don't want Mont Blanc. So this, let's have a look. This is working. Okay, we've got our two images here, um, but I'm getting Mont Blanc. So I want the dynamic images. So in order to get the dynamic images, I need to put 
dynamic images, which is image, right? So this is for image, in images, give me this image, okay? And let's have a look. And no, I don't have my two images. They disappeared. Did you see that? They disappeared. I've only got my background image. So something is up here. Let's have a look at what's going on. If we inspect, do we have an error in here? It's got an error. It's not really, it's just not found. Okay, that's very helpful. It's just not found. Um, just can't find it. Okay, let's go to elements. We have our figure. So we have two figures here. And inside we have, we have this. It's trying to find the source of tilde acids. And this, this, this uh, doesn't exist, right? Tilde acids doesn't exist. So this is not going to give us the image. So what can we do here? So when working with dynamic images, when this is dynamic, um, what we need to do is we need to wrap it in require. This is what Webpack needs you to do. So we basically put require, put the bracket around it, close it, save it, and there we go, we have our two images, right? So that's all we needed to do. Let me just show you what we did there. We basically wrapped it in require with the bracket here, right? Making sure that our back ticks are inside the require. And then our image, remember this could be anything. This could be item in images, oh, spelled it wrong, item, for example. And then this is item, right? So this can be whatever you want it to be. And now here, and it works, okay? So that's basically all you have to do when you're working with dynamic images, make sure you bind it and use require, and then you'll be able to get the images from uh, an array of images, for example. Uh, background images, make sure you're not using the slash. And I know you're probably thinking that's so much to take in and so much to remember. Um, and if it is, don't forget, we have great documentation. So under guides, under directory structure, under assets, and you can see the examples they're all here. So if you ever forget, just go here, copy, paste, put it in and it'll all work. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you and have fun with images. Bye.